Hey guys, before we get started with this video, I just want to apologize for the amount of time it has been since the last update. There's been a lot of things going on with the development team and it's been difficult to get projects through, but we have expanded our development team, we have more testing people, and we should be able to get projects out faster. So hopefully the next update won't take so long. Without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Welcome back to another video on traffic control. We're gonna go over the latest updates in traffic control, which include traffic lights, custom gate lengths and rotations, and also a whole bunch of barriers to look at. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing we're gonna take a look at is traffic lights. Traffic lights have been on my list of things to do for a very long time, and I'm very happy that they are done. So as you can see just now that they are switching by themselves, and this is actually just due to a computer that I have underneath the traffic control box here uh, that is just running a program to switch the redstone output every 10 seconds. So that's not actually a built-in feature, but it will be in the future. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to build one of these intersections. So the first thing you're gonna need is one of these traffic light control boxes. Now there is not a crafting recipe for it yet, but it is coming in the future, no worries. So right now it's kind of more of a creative thing, but we will get that going. So I'm going to set down my traffic light control box. And when I right click on it, I'm gonna get this menu here that's gonna show me all the different options I can do when things are powered and when it is not powered. So let's say when I have a redstone signal applied to this box, I wanna show a red light and a red arrow. And then when it's not powered, I wanna show a green light and a yellow arrow, but I also want it to flash. So I'm gonna check this F column. Now this is just for the north-south options. So if I want the west-east options, I click on the west-east and I set it up. So let's see, we had powered was red. So we're going to do powered is green here. So green arrow, uh, actually flashing left, yellow arrow. And then unpowered is going to be red on both accounts here. So the next thing I'm going to do is set up my traffic lights. So I'm going to go in and search for traffic light frame. Drag that down to my inventory and I'm also going to go find the different bulbs that I need. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into traffic control and at the top here we have all six different bulbs that we can put into this traffic light frame. So I'm going to drag them in here. Now I'm going to put the traffic light frame in my hand and I'm going to right click. And that's gonna bring up this GUI that is going to allow me to put these different bulbs into the traffic light frame. So for this one, I'm going to make this a red, yellow, and green. And I'm gonna get another traffic light frame. And for this one, I'm going to make this the red, yellow, and green arrows. Next up, I'm just going to grab a pole and a crossing base. And I'm going to just place it on the ground here. And I'm gonna do the same thing right next to it, say right here. Now this one, if you hover over it, it shows you what bulbs are in the traffic light frame. So I'm going to place my solid bulbs here and my arrow bulbs here. And then I'm also going to do a opposite direction for the same traffic light frame. So do a base and a pole, base and a pole. Here's our solid and here's our arrow. So now we have our traffic lights, we have our traffic light control box. All we have to do is pair them, much like the grade crossing. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a tuner, which was formerly known as the crossing gate tuner. I'm going to right click the box, and I am going to go ahead and pair the traffic lights to the traffic light control box. Now, all I have to do is grab a redstone lever, or some other kind of redstone input, and simply apply redstone to the traffic light control box. So now if I switch it, we can see that the options switch over just as we set up in the configuration. Pretty cool. 
So now let's take a look at all the different barriers that are added in this update. So as we can see, we have these new barriers here, which have the orange chevrons with the white. These are called type three barriers. So I'm just going to go into the traffic control tab again, and we can see we have two different type three barriers in the menu here. This one is the left to right barrier. And then we can grab the right to left barrier. And we can also place that down, say, here. Give me a second, I'm just gonna take down this tree. It's really annoying. Okay, so now the primary difference between the two is that you can have traffic, directing traffic to the closest right lane, which is what this one is, and then this one just directs traffic to the closest left lane. It's just a difference in the direction of the actual chevron. So with these barriers, I'm actually gonna get rid of these. And I wanna show you that you can make these any width that you would like. And on top of that, if you just right click anywhere on the barrier, there's this little checkbox that appears here that says has sign. And if you check that, you will get a sign that appears right in the center of the barrier. And then there's two different signs you can pick from. You can either pick a road closed sign or a lane closed sign. I do plan on adding more in the future, but these are the two that are available right now. And of course you can put these in any direction that you would like and show these signs. Next up, we have these guardrails that were added as of this update. Again, you can do any direction, like so. And lastly, we added these concrete barriers that are available in all the different colors. So I just remember, I should probably go over these crafting recipes quick. So this right to left type three barrier has a crafting recipe that is actually just popping the left to right one into the crafting recipe just to switch the direction. So for the left to right one, it is orange terracotta in a diagonal shape, and then white terracotta in the diagonal shape, kind of create that chevron. And then of course, if you wanna switch back to the left to right, you can just put the right to left one in the crafting recipe as well. Our guardrails are three iron ingots and oak logs. Lastly, the concrete barriers are just a wall of concrete and any color that you want to make the wall in. So, you know, for example, the white concrete barrier is just a wall of white concrete. So the last thing I wanna show you is the custom crossing gate lengths and rotation points. So as you can see here, this is a little different than what we used to have. So for this road crossing, the gate is a little longer and the rotation is set just a little higher. And we also have a sidewalk crossing gate as well that is only two blocks wide instead of the traditional four. So I'm going to walk you through how to do this. So all you're really gonna need is just a crossing gate. And then you just place it down on this side. And then if you right click on the gate, you get all these different options. So for this gate length, since the road is five blocks long, five blocks wide, excuse me, I'm gonna set five here. And then I know that the rotation on this other gate is 75 degrees. So I'm going to set this to 75. And once I leave the menu, you can see that the gate adjusts and it is now a little longer. So now for this sidewalk gate, I'm just gonna place it down on this side. It's too long for the sidewalk, so I believe it was two blocks wide. And for the upper rotation, it was 70 degrees. So now we can see that the gate is the proper width for the different applications that we have and also clears the road just a little bit better. So now I'm gonna grab my tuner again and I'm going to pair my crossing relay box to the new gates and everything else is already paired up. I'm gonna flip the switch, and we can see that the crossing activates again, and now everything is the correct width for what we want. And there it is. Now the crossing gate is the right width for the road, and the sidewalk gate is the right width for the sidewalk. It's also kind of neat is, if you have the rotation point set a little off, you can see that the sidewalk gates terminate going back up just a little sooner than the actual 
roadway ones. So that also gives a really nice effect. So that's it for this latest update of traffic control. There are a couple bug fixes we're gonna be pushing out uh, regarding some server things. And we also have some cool stuff coming up. Let me let you know what those are. Right, so in the next content update, we're looking at the sensor mode for the traffic lights. So rather than having it be manual and based on a timer, it'll all be taken care of automatically for you based on sensors underneath the road. And the WCH electronic bell will also be coming in the next content update. So keep your eyes out for that in the next update, and we'll see you next time.